In this video, we'll talk about where to get information regarding EM clarity, the enhanced macromolecular classification, and alignment for high resolution in situ tomography. You've obviously already found the YouTube page. In addition, there's a Google user group. You can send a message there at emclarity at googlegroups.com, where past messages are also archived and readily searchable. And additionally, there's this wiki, which we're looking at now, which is hosted on GitHub, just behind the source code at beheims slash emclarity. The information on the wikis organized primarily into three different tiers. There are the video tutorials, which are the quickest and easiest way to get up and running, which links out to the YouTube channel. The user guides, which provide a more thorough discussion of features and the theory behind them, which then link, of course, to the videos. And we additionally provide some developer guides in the hopes of taking what is open source code and turning it into an open source project, bringing you into the fold, explaining the nuts and bolts of why we've done things, and hopefully you'll come up with some better ways to do them that you'd like to share with us. So to get up and running, minimally this has been designed to run on GPUs that have at least 12 gigs of memory. And this is because the input data for cryo-electron tomography and sub-volume averaging are large 3D volumes and most of the math is pretty dumb array-based math or math that involves highly optimized linear algebra or Fourier transforms, which we can access through MATLAB to get to the CUDA uh, libraries that are put together by NVIDIA. Uh, I haven't tested this on any AMD cards. In principle, it could work, uh, but any of the NVIDIA large memory cards should be fine. Two is better than one, and four is even better than two. But having more than four cards isn't necessarily that helpful as long as you plan your time and your usual resources as well. Additionally, in terms of hardware, you also need software. You need not have a MATLAB license unless you want to develop code, but you do need to get the MATLAB compiler runtime, which is easy to download and install following the instructions and the link provided. Additionally, we make use of Chimera to align the volumes before we compute the FSC. And iMod we use for a large number, and we can't thank uh, the crew over at UC Boulder enough for their development of tomography really as a field because they've done so much over the years. So we'll need to install those, which we'll cover in a separate video that will get you set up and run through a test suite to make sure everything's running well on your computer. So again, you can get information on the YouTube channel by emailing or searching the Google group at emclarity at googlegroups.com or by visiting the wiki that's hosted on GitHub, beheims slash emclarity slash wiki. The information hopefully will help you to design and use EM Clarity for your own projects, which we have demonstrated to substantially improve the achievable resolution that you can get with cryo-electron tomography and subtomogram averaging. The tutorial data set deals with this data from M the NPR entry 10045, which corresponds to the EMD entry put out by Relyon when they released their subtomogram pack pa processing package we show substantial improvements from about 13 down to actually just a little below 8 angstroms. This figure is outdated. Uh, additionally, with the mammalian ribosome, we show an improvement from 11.2 down to actually about 8.2 in this figure. Uh, and that isn't discussing the classification, which is a little beyond the scope of this introductory video. But I just wanted to give the impression of the resolution achievements that you can reach and that it is made by a number. There's no one single advance that makes the improvement. There's a number of features that bring out this higher resolution capabilities. Uh, we've also recently added full 3D CTF correction, which isn't included in this figure, which also brings the resolution down even more. So I hope that you find the wiki useful, and if you have any questions, you can contact us through the Google user group, or you can email emclarity at protonmail.com. Thanks for listening. Bye.